Hi, Keeper Dave here, and welcome to the treehouse. Today, we are going to look at these cool little guys, the hermit crab. Hermit crabs, like lobsters, they are in the crustacean family. Crustacean, it is quite a hard word, but it just means hard outer shell, and that refers to their hard exoskeleton. Even though they are called a crab, they are actually more closely related to a lobster than a crab. And that is because that front half of their exoskeleton, it is quite hard, but that back tail section, it is quite soft. Having an exoskeleton means that their bones are on the outside of their body. So that means that those bones, they're unable to grow. So they do need to do something called molt or shed. So the crab, it cracks open those bones, it pulls themselves out, and underneath they do have a new set of bones. That new set of bones, it is quite soft, so they're able to suck in some water, they stretch that new set of bones, and that gives them room to grow. If they don't shed their bones, hermit crabs are unable to grow. Because the hermit crab doesn't have a completely hard exoskeleton, they live inside a shell. But the hermit crab, it doesn't make that shell. Snails are actually the animal that makes the shell. When the snail dies, those shells, they are left behind. And the crab, it moves along the ocean floor looking for a shell to live inside. Those shells, they are not going to get any bigger. So as the crab grows, it needs to find a larger shell to live in. During the day, hermit crabs are usually found underneath rocks or down in rock crevices. At night is when they are much more active. This means that they are nocturnal. They do also feed at night, and when they do feed, they are a scavenger feeder. So they do eat quite a large variety of food, from other animals to algae and even other plant matter. This means that they are an omnivore. Hermit crabs are not an aggressive species of crab. Most do have quite small claws and their best way of protecting themselves is to duck back inside that hard shell. The hermit crab that you see at the beach is quite different to the hermit crabs that are kept as pets. The ones that you do see at the beach, they are unable to live out of water. The ones that are kept as pets, they are a land hermit crab. There are about 800 species of hermit crabs and only about a dozen or so of those are able to live on land. So some fun facts about hermit crabs. Hermit crabs, they are quite different to other crabs. They do have quite a long body and those rear legs, they are quite small and they aren't very good for walking. They mostly use those legs at the back there just to hold onto the shell. The other thing is their name does suggest they do like to live alone, but they are actually quite a social crab and they can be found in groups of up to 100. So now I guess we should rate them. So for size, hermit crabs, they're not a very big crab, so I'm going to give them a 2 for size. For speed, they are probably one of the slowest crabs, so I'm going to give them a 1 for speed. Of course, they have no venom, so that's a 0 for venom. And for temperament, they are not aggressive at all. The only way they can protect themselves is ducking back inside that shell, so I'm going to give them a 1 for temperament. So that's all we have time for today. To see more of our clips, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and we'll catch you next time in the treehouse. See you later.